Okay, I'm back. So I completed um, these pages here. I have separated them um, because these don't, ha don't have any flowers. These can be the background for a car for the guys. And then these will have flowers and the very light colors. This can be the backgrounds for the girls. Um, I The little ones here, this is my practice um, paper. Usually when I, for some reason, when I don't do it for a week, for a couple of weeks or something, I it just, I'm rusty again. So I have to kind of practice because it's, it's hard to... The way you set up and you you layer your acrylic paints on the plate it's how the design is gonna come about so anyway so i did a little bit of the practice and so i'm gonna keep this because i'm gonna use them my cards for that i'm gonna be working on they're not going to be a regular size card they have to fit back into this box this was the uh, first video i did when I created the box and then I created the matching cards um, and I used them and it was just the background and then if there was an occasion, a birthday, a celebration or something, I'll just pull them out and then put a focal point on the card and that was it. It was nice and quick. I've had them ready. Um, this time I didn't want to use the same background. I did use the purple so it can match if you're gonna see a lot of the purple there so it can match a little bit of the box but it's not the same design and it's not gonna look like the other one which was only these three colors uh, the white the different shades of purple and then the orange and then I used um, I used the um, tissue paper which I am because this is just the background so the p tissue paper and the focal point for the cards are going to be depending on the occasion and, and 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 I'll show you a couple of examples here but let me show you this first um, so these are the ones that I am planning to use as a background when I'm doing a, a card for a uh, a boy oh, or, or a guy um, so I have that one that one that one and this was from when I was practicing this one I don't know if you can see I used a lot the gold this time it's another one I like this one and I used um, the other thing that I did different is that I the first time around I used a big um, watercolor paper and um, and then I cut it. This time I'm going to use the watercolor paper but I'm going to paste this on it so that I can create different designs. This one has, I was introducing a little bit of black. When I come back and I'm working on a card, I may come back and put the black or white just to um, usually does something <laughs> that makes it look pretty like this one too just the word to know this one too which I, I'm planning to work a little bit more on this one course, it depends but depending where I put the image this one will need either white or black something is too much green no. oh this one for this size and then the ones for the um, ladies who have like flowers in the light colors. I like that one. I don't know, just the music sheet and the it looks so nice. This was just I love this one. It's just the green. I like this one a lot. This was see the gold here. This 
this one I'm probably going to not use it as a car, but if I need those elements here, I'll just tear them out or cut them out. I like this one. And I'm going to tell you something about this paper in a few seconds. Look at this one. Now, um, some of them, the background will be, that's it. I don't, I'm not going to come back and add more to them. Some of them I will. But I wanted to show you, um, more or less to give you an example. So, let's say I'm okay with this background here. And I just want to go ahead and just add the element on it. I have a... I could use I can come here now these are some of the um, drawings that I've done and I keep them to use them as focal points I just when I do something I cut them out put them in here um, and then use them so for, let's say for this one if I'm happy with that and I want to create a card I can this can be my focal point and I don't have to add anything to the background unless you know, I want to do that. Um, so it depends, you know, obviously you gotta have to match the background with, you know, with, um, so that could be the focal point. There was another one. Um, if I, now these, I will not use these faces here because this is um, that tomoe papers I will do it in watercolor which is you know create a watercolor which you know I'm gonna work a little bit more but using the watercolor paper that's a little bit more thicker to become the focal point but even a face you know can work with that see or I've got this one too, but again, it'll have to be the watercolor, um, the thick paper for that. And um, I was also playing around this week and saw someone create um, this, which I thought it was so pretty. But look how pretty. So it was making the paper flowers. I use staples here. <laughs> but it's, this is like the paper flowers. Um, and I, let me, let me give you an ex, let me see if I can. It's so easy to do. Um, get a paper. Actually, let me do one. I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. I know I'm not going to use that for a card. But um, you just cut a... A square piece of paper, craft paper. Anything that has a decoration. You can just throw watercolor on it and create some colors. And then you're just going to fold it. Half. So easy, you fold it that way, fold it as much as you can. And then when you have it like that, instead of uh, folding it straight, then this time, just, oh. once you do the two fold, you do this fold, the first fold, I'll show you that again. This fold, you're gonna do another fold and then here, you're going to fold it in the middle as a, like a shape of a triangle. So you're not folding it as a square. Okay. And then you fold it again. Keeping it in that same. Folding the triangle. <clears throat> and then, if you cut like this, you have different ways. You can cut it 
you can cut it um, let me show you let me cut it like if it was a leaf so I'm going to cut it from this side all the way to the other side and I try to make sure that my cuts that start here will start right here so I have a And then when you open this up, this is your flower. So that was the background. See this? That was this background here. And I, and I used, um, for this one I used a card stack or, or um, yes it one of the heart cards um, paper craft or craft paper and then the second one your square will be smaller so <clears throat> so this time your square will be like that and then you do the same thing, you fold it in the middle, you do another fold here, and then as a triangle you're going to fold it. And because this one is tiny, then I'm going to do a different shape, I'm just going to do like a, like that. So when you open it up, you get this other shape. And that's the other piece. And so if you cut different tri um, squares, <clears throat> and a big one, uh, maybe, you know, a little smaller and smaller, you can create three, uh, like three levels. Um, on this one here though, I used the car, and this was, so this is a way to just create the flowers and have them, add them to your page. Uh, paper will work fa fine if you're working on a journal and you just want a flower and it does it. But if you want it for a car like this one, I can use this one for an element on the car. Look how beautiful that looks. See the background in that there? This can be the focal point of your card, you know. But um, this one I used the card um, in the back, which was a, one of those design cards in the back. This here is actually one of the strips from a paper um, that I folded like that. And um, uh, I wish this was um, so you guys can see what I'm doing. You can see. So as you're folding it around it, you fo fold it around inside your flower here and you go around it. I use staples, but you can use glue, um, and that'll work too. Um, I wanted to do it real quick as a practice, so I was just stapling it real quick. You go around it, and you create this little skirt. I call it a skirt, pleated skirt. In, in the on top of um, and you can glue it on top of your flower and then you I have those dollar store butterflies um, but before adding the butterfly there I used twine here folded a little bit glued it there with um, hot glue and then I added the butterfly and this is so nice this is so pretty and the butterfly has all this little um, glitters here so you, that can be your focal point. So anyway, now um, let me put this away. Okay, so um, this is all nice and clear. Um, uh, bef before going into showing you the stuff that I worked on this week, I have been looking for a little while for a vintage is botanical vintage book um i have seen some pages journal pages or where people use 
them as focal points the, and they look so nice I really like it and I wanted to get that also to add it to my collections of items that I use as focal point for my pages cards or and so forth um, but they're not that easy to find I mean you don't find them in Michaels you don't find them in Joann's and all these craft um, stores um, unless you know you go online or you go to Barnes and Nobles and specifically look for that and I did but they were not able to find it for me um, so I ended up uh, remembering that when you go to Google a lot of people always getting rid of these old books and stuff like that and sometimes old books would have wonderful pages to work on so I decided, let me go there, maybe I'll have some luck and find the botanical vintage book there. I did not, but I did find these other books and I want to share stuff that I found that they have and I thought it was kind of neat. So one of the things that um, they had there is like a, okay, this is an old book, I don't even know what year, I haven't even looked to see, but um, it, it had this attached to its understanding Georgia's living will <laughs> and it, you know it's old look at the pages here and then someone was using this to study and they had you know they used to the, the line they were lining up stuff and look at the fonts you know that was one of those old typewriters and I thought this was so neat and actually I used a couple of pages for uh, on the project that I'm working today and I use them there, but there. This is sandpaper. Not sure why that's there. Um, but I found this book, and I I just bought it. I thought that was kind of neat. They also I did also um, pick this one up too. And the reason why is I thought the drawings were so neat. Um, it's an, another old book. I'm sure if you look here, we can find the year. Because it'll tell you the copyright and all that information. So I found this one there too. And um, <laughs> look at the drawings. Aren't they nice? Oh my gosh. So, and then the fonts are like real big, and the spacing in between the fonts are like separate. Not, not real together, but you know, with some space in between them. So I thought that was kind of nice. I bought that. Then. I found this and I use this in a couple of my prints here like this one here and I covered it a lot uh, let me see if I can find it oh this one this one probably said but you see the background here this is part of the paper isn't that beautiful and this is the paper look how beautiful so I grabbed this so fast, and of course, most of it, if not all, was $1.99. I paid $1.99 for that, $1.99 for this old book. And then, I remember that I was also, I don't have a music book. Um, and I love using it in my projects when I'm working. I love to add that music. Um, little pieces here and there and I found this one look, there too everything was $1.99 look how nice so I can use the page as is I can paint and add some color to it so that you can still see the design so I bought that and the very last thing that I got was I saw this little box. And you know, guys, you know how I like little boxes. Not that I already, I don't have any more space here for little boxes. But I found this box, which is really hard. And, and I said, oh, this is a pretty box. And I'm saying I'm not going to, I'm not going to pick it up because I have a lot of boxes. But when I opened it up there... It's kind of very similar to the one I've created. Mine is this box was I made it for cards, but this is a box where you carry your cards, and it has you see the the design here. It has the matching cards there. It actually has stickers. Isn't that neat? 
and then you and then he had well this is my stuff I just do some of my stuff here but it also had this paper look how pretty isn't that beautiful and these envelopes which I think he might have had something else here because I don't think it's for the the notes here he must have had another kind of long cards because that doesn't match this card and they these already have their envelopes here so it's probably missing that let me see oh no ah, this is it it has pages oh my god oh, this is so nice so i bought this for $1.99 and i have another little box and um this is so cute. So anyway, that was my trip to um, that was my trip to Goodwill. And if you guys are wanting to get stuff like that and not pay a lot of money, all you have to do is just go to Goodwill. They and pick, look at all those old books they have. It is amazing the stuff. If you appreciate that and you like that, that's that's where you're gonna find your deal. And um, so just before ending, I'm going to, my next video will be putting this, completing the cards for this print out. But before doing that, I did work on a couple of um, books this week. Um, I did, decided to go ahead, I could create, this is my little junk journal that I created with all these papers and I have a video showing that. So I worked on one of the pages, which is the very first one. This is... This, this whole thing here is the uh, a black um, bag and um, so what I did is I um, added craft paper, um, I added one of my drawings which is one of those, the ones that I used the Tamil, uh, the Tomoe paper and did the drawing where you can see the little lines in her face. I placed her there. And then I used some stencils and completed this page here. I used my um, acrylic gold paint to splash, you know, add a little bit of gold here and there. This is from a napkin. And then I used the one of my gold pen to just outline the flower. And so anyway, I'm starting to work on this to get this completed. This should be done fairly quick because it's not that many pages and I like when I do this little journals just because I don't have too much pages I like to I like finishing journals see this is the back that's the same back here it's right here so this one I'm probably gonna use this pocket I may cut this out and maybe use this or maybe not maybe I'll leave it like that so anyway I worked on that I worked on my I worked on this one yeah this one here and this is again this is a tippin which is a card so um, this was using my little for memo uh, print and then I added one of the strips of one of those tissue papers there used a little bit the vintage vintage stamps here one of my butterflies that I created a long time ago um, this was from um, <clears throat> one of those cardstock that had a little old camera and I placed it there this became the vintage I used the washi tape but it's the white one with little dots you can hardly see it but it's there and it's holding it nice and tight and then one of the things I was doing this way I was working on little pockets for my journal so that seems it's fun to do those things like here um, this is a kind of a little pocket where you can just place a little card there you can write stuff in the back here is the flower that I was just showing you guys Let's see if I guys can keep this I use only two layers the first one and the second one and then I just put a like a little one of those little dots um, gent stones there and then this is another pocket and I have a card here see and then I wrote some stuff in the back I put a sticker there so this is really fun because you can have on your pages you can have all these little pockets I did it again I did it more this is more the vintage look I did it more modern I'll show you that page now and I think that's it for this one yeah that's it for this one and then um, 
this is where I worked on the other one yeah this one here so I did the same thing here if you see here this is a from a magazine see the background there this is from a magazine and then I have here a packet that holds this card here and this is one of my drawings um, in the background is craft paper and, and this and then I wrote something here and then you use this as a pocket this is another little pocket here that you can use this the way you fold the paper you can either put it like you can put it sideways but I didn't want to cover her face so I just put it straight and then you can write stuff in the back and I could have used this one too as a pocket but I didn't think about that but you can have on one set have three pockets and then again I used the tip and this is one of the cards that I was working on I was showing you how to do the Concord or the one that you don't you actually look at the image but you don't look at what you're drawing and then you just color it um, so I used that as a tip in and then I used one of the stickers from that Goodwill box here because uh, it kind of had the colors there um, I put, just threw some color there and then again from that magazine I pulled some of the ladies and um, put them here I started creating this as a pocket but then I did the, the flower technique here and went over it and I sealed it without realizing it which is okay it's fine and then I wanted a lot of colors so I just kind of went a little crazy they are adding gold um, this is actually a sticker from a uh, something that I a t-shirt something that we bought and had the sticker and I just put it there and I mean you can take anything you have if you like something oh this is a nice sticker save it and you can put it on your journal and my last thing is my out and about chick sparrow um, little journal here um, packet TN it's called packet travelers notebook I did a few pages and this was just drawing in watercolor I think the last time I didn't have color on the bike but now it does have color and then I think I showed you that and then I worked for the month of June I was just praying I was seeing those big letters with the flowers I thought that was kind of nice I was playing with that and then this is one of the drawings I did she has uh, I think some of the blue ink ended up on her face there and then I worked on her I like this one, she has the long, long hair. And then, my little girl. And um, all I have to do is just put some watercolor here and then I'm done with this page. And now we can go into the video, the, the completing the cards. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye. All right, guys. I am back, and I finished cutting, uh, cutting and pasting the gel prints to the watercolor. I used the the. Let me show you what I used. I used this um, watercolor paper. Is the Canson, and this is the 140 pounds. It's really nice and thick. So what I went ahead and pasted all of my gel prints here and then I kind of paste them all here actually with two sides of them and I didn't want to record that because the video this video is becoming a little long but let me know if you want to see the process and I do have it recorded and I'll create another video just let me know um, but what I did is I paste them here and then I cut them at a, at a card size to fit in here in the box um, there were so many prints that I did I didn't realize and when I started cutting them look how many I have and um, so I am not going to do every envelope for every card I do them as the occasion comes up I'll just you know make the envelope matching um, for instance let me show you like this envelope I mean this card would go with something like that you know it has the colors 
and then I'll place the focal point whether it's the big words happy birthday or it's a flower or whatever it is so uh, um, I'll, it'll be my focal point I may um, do something you know kind of ink the edges just to make it look more vintage or you know I, I work I will work on them as I'm working on the card itself once I know what theme that card is going to be and then when the card is done I'll just place them in my envelope and it's ready to go it'll have the um, the focal point the words whatever you know whatever you want to add there so um, this whole I mean I have tons the ones that I, I purposely what I did is I saved every corner of it I didn't want to get rid of it so and this is as easy as pasting tissue paper I did it here I put tissue paper there um, here I had a spot that it was um, was missing something so I went ahead and I added the tissue paper there so I can come here and add the tissue paper or I can add something else here or even my focal point I don't know where my focal point is going to be here maybe my words will be here and I have a big tag here I don't know so um, but I just cut them all out um, and these are the ones I've got and they're a lot a lot a lot a lot, a lot. so um, as I'm pulling them out and I'm putting a card together I'll continue to work on the at least I have the starting point of the background of my car and then I'll take it from there um, so these are all the ladies <laughs> all the girly ones um, I love this one and um, see here I can put something there I mean you can always 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 cover it up because this blends into it and it looks like part of it you won't even you won't even know it's, it's in addition to it but then you have all this around it um, this is that paper I bought at, Go at Goodwill this one's showing all the fonts I like that one too so you take it from there and then when it gets to the um, so the bright colors so here and then when you get here to this part of it this will be kind of it this will be probably for a male because these are kind of solid and strong colors and you don't see flowers here and I will do the same thing adding the words maybe I tone down the background if I have something that I want it to be the focal point where I really want to have you know pop out I may shade down the background and you do that by adding gesso but you don't want to use the solid white acrylic gesso you want to just uh, dilute it a little bit with water so it becomes kind of a um, a layer real thin transparent layer and it's really nice I like this one a lot um, this one too so anyway and for this one here I can either use this card this envelope here or I can use um, anything that has yellow I can even use that one that looks good with it I actually created this envelope for this one so once this card is completed then I'll just put it in here and it's ready to go so this this is it uh, let me know if you do want to see that process and I'll go ahead and just you know put the videos put them organize the videos of making the gel prints um, and I'll just make one video and just don't, didn't want to make this one too long okay thank you bye